So I've been making beats since February this year. I started this journey and I've been documenting on YouTube, giving my honest and very transparent uh, data and thoughts on the process and how it's been going, how I've been growing and how I've been making them beat sales. Now, I wanted to make this video because I feel like I've tried to, again, be as transparent as possible, but there's a little bit of honesty that I've got to relay to you guys. Uh, it's sort of a bit of reality in selling beats and how long this process actually takes, not only to get going, but what you actually can expect if you're someone who's just started or getting into and wondering how long it actually takes to grow this as a business. Because as I always say in the videos, this is a business that you're doing in beat selling. So I just want to go through sort of the experience that I've had, what I've learned again, but more just tell you the honest truths um, and reality of it and not try and sugarcoat this video for you. Because if you can watch this video and still be motivated to sell beats in a day, then you have that right mentality to sell beats and you're going to do well for yourself. As someone who's been making videos since February and uploading since February, I've uploaded uh, over 120 beats. I've been using BeatStars. Those of you who follow this channel will know that. BeatStars, I do think, is the best platform still to sell beats on. It's very easy. I now have a website and a beat store myself to gather data, collect email addresses so I can do all my marketing as well. Uh, which again is a topic for another day. If we're going to strip about a lot more, there's nothing wrong with having a beat channel because then uh, you have it there. If you use BeatStars, you don't have to create your own website. But yeah, BeatStars is the way to go. Now again, to dive right into the honest truths of selling beats online, let's first start with the reality of how quickly it's going to pick up for you. And that is not very quick. You have to be ready to put in the work, get um, a lot of beats up and not make any sales. Sometimes is the way that it goes. Again, as I said, I've uploaded over 120 beats beats and I didn't make my first sale of a beat till a couple months in and that's reality of it. In the six months that I have been selling beats I have sold 30 different types of beats some of them multiple times and it's, things have really started to pick up towards the tail end of this year mainly because of certain things that I'm doing um, other than just uploading beats but I'm telling you now if your plan is to sell beats by just uploading and hoping for the best unfortunately it's not going to work out for you unless you're going to be uploading 900 beats in one year where at that point you've got to think that it will become a numbers game and you would then you sell beats then go for it but honestly it's not worth your time it's more effort that you need to put in because remember we all have other things that we're doing in our life and it takes time and energy and you don't want to use up all your energy just trying to get beats up because not only is that going to affect the performance of your beats and how they sound but it's also just going to tie you out mentally which is again going to really uh, take a hit on the motivation to actually do this the reality of it is you want to really pace yourself and upload beats at a rate which is comfortable to you and you can still produce work that you're proud of and that's good not every beat you upload has to be good like amazing you can upload bad beats i've got so many beats i've uploaded that are bad but again it's just like building a catalog and but doing it at your own pace and again 120 beats and there's still a lot more that i could do there's a lot more to upload and if you think 120 beats is a lot, then you've got to be ready to put the work in because you're going to have to upload a lot of beats if you want to make beat sales. Which brings me on to the next point, and that is the YouTube Type Beat channel. Now, I've got my YouTube Type Beat Up channel here, which I'm just going to flip across to now. I've been growing this at the start of February. I've only got 165 subscribers. You may see that's a lot. You may not see that as a lot. The, the thing with the YouTube Type Beat channel is it is another way of advertising your beats, and it's a free way of advertising your beats as well. Obviously, if you want to make money using the YouTube channel, you want to get monetized, but that takes 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watch time, and that takes a long time to do. I've got this channel to, I think, 600 uh, watch hours now, and it's got 165 subscribers, so I'm pretty much about a seventh of the way there to getting monetized, so it's not really a priority for me because... The key thing that I use this channel for, again, is advertising. Just focus less on actually getting monetized subscribers and actually uploading the beats on there, getting the branding right. If you look at my website, you will see I have a color scheme going on. I've now used my YouTube channel page art to put a discount code to in further incentivize artists visiting it to go and purchase beats, as well as the subscribe icon, which I didn't have in previous videos if you watch one, but I've tried to upgrade it. And you just want to make it as seamless as possible because again you're not going to get to a thousand subscribers quickly on here that's the honest truth but what you can do is you can get it all nicely laid out and make it another platform to advertise your beat selling so you can see i've got multiple playlists that i've created with different types of beats which are started and then other players for pop beats and again like i know i mainly am in the pop genre but in trap but that leads me into my next point which is very interesting and the the reality of selling beats and that is you can go in um thinking that you're going to be producing beats in a certain way and make money for it but i can assure you that you have to be prepared that you may be 
doing something that works for you but not what you first set out to do at the get go. Now what I mean by that is when I first started making beats I thought that if I uploaded trap and hip hop beats that because that is the the broad there's the broader scope of the the market for beat selling mainly trap afro beats hip hop they sell well they sell very well but unfortunately then it becomes that small fish in a big pond reality where if you're doing the same thing everyone else is doing you're just not going to get any success because you're getting drowned out by everyone else who's got more views more followers and just a, a lot more clout and growth than you so what you need to do is you need to be prepared that you're gonna have to mix it up and try things that maybe you didn't think you have to do and you have to do what works and that's when you really have to analyze your data i've said this in so many beat videos if you want to do well at beat selling you've really got to analyze your data and see what's working for me as a ex as an example to this i was uploading charlie poof well like the weekend 80s synth pop type of instrumentals i really enjoy that sort of music and i realized really quickly that it wasn't working for me again like the trap and hip-hop I was uploading onto YouTube getting five, sometimes zero views on trap and hip hop beats and when I was uploading my 80s synth pop beats I was getting like 10 views and it was very depressing and like it can take a lot out of you and again that's another reality when you first start a YouTube channel in general you're just not going to get the views straight away, nothing's going to take off. I started to try and mix it up, I did more singer songwriter type instrumentals, acoustic pop, Taylor Swift and it all came down to about a month into uploading beats I uploaded a Taylor Swift beat both onto BeatStars and onto YouTube and it was the first beat which I really saw a spike in the views it's got over a thousand views uh, in about a month period and I was like okay people are engaging with this and even on BeatStars it was getting views and it was getting free downloads and I was like okay this is something so I uploaded more Taylor Swift I switched it up a bit I went to like Lauv, Ed Sheeran really and saw more the commercial pop and slightly leaning towards the singer songwriter side of pop and for some reason that is something that really helped me get that little bit of growth going and a little bit of momentum as well so again I mixed it up it wasn't what I planned to do from the get-go but it started to work for me and then I started to get beat sales and yeah now I've got I think I've got one type beat for Taylor Swift on my YouTube channel which has got over 10,000 views which is my again it's, it's got me almost I think 10% 20% of my subscribers on the YouTube channel so it just goes to show like you've just got to analyze the data and I've been doing it since and ever since then like every week I'm getting more subscribers in the last month we're getting more watch time in the last month so I've got a YouTube channel that's growing I have a beat channel which is growing very healthily and getting more followers get and we I think we've just gone over uh, 12 to 13 uh, maybe it's even 14,000 views now on beat stars which again to some of you who are watching this maybe you're the more experienced beat maker that might not be a lot but you got to remember if everyone's got their own pace that they start at, which leads me to the next reality is not everyone grows at the same rate and you, you can't expect to follow in the the footsteps of the blueprint that someone else has done because the chances are if you're modeling your success off of someone else who's done well any sort of producer that you see on BeatStars who's uploaded 900 plus tracks is making $20,000 a month selling beats they've put the work in they've been doing this for three to five years if you're just starting this now you can't expect to be where they are right now and it's gonna take time if I'm being honest with you I'm not even a year in yet and I was gonna do my proper evaluation of how beat selling has gone after a year again I started in February you gotta be prepared to put in a lot of work for little pay and um, little output because this is a business like growing a YouTube channel as well it takes time this YouTube channel you're watching from when I first started this YouTube channel I was only getting five to ten views a video and for the first three months I think I had 20 subscribers and I even when I hit the 10 subscriber mark when I hit the 100 subscriber mark I was happy because I realized like it's little milestones on the journey but when it got to the first thousand subscribers on this channel then that's when you really start to see a reward for the effort you put in so again you've got to be prepared to do a lot of work for little output at the beginning especially the first six months if I had to give a time frame six months is definitely the amount of time you should give yourself not worry too much about getting loads of views don't worry about that the views the views and the stats should be the last thing you worry about in terms of sort of like an ego boost you shouldn't get in the like set out to get 10,000 views on every video it's just not gonna happen you're gonna upload videos even now I upload videos where they sometimes don't even scrape 20 views I just see that as a beat that just didn't work for the sort of target audience that YouTube is bringing to me. So again, listen to the data, but don't get too stressed about not getting the big numbers because that will come in time. You've got to give it six months, as I said. And that is um, one of the harsh realities of beat making, which I feel like even though you get YouTube videos out there which advertise to you oh, how to grow quickly, how to 
you know how to make more beat how to how to make a, a grand a month in beat sales like you know there are certain ways you can do that you can you could message a thousand musicians on instagram and you would probably get a couple of sales by doing that but you've got to ask yourself the question how long that's actually going to take you to do that um and is it is it going to be worth the time and effort you put in because you're going to be spending every day and every night doing messages especially as instagram will probably block you and it's just tedious and you and there's also you won't enjoy it because you've got to enjoy this process if you don't enjoy this process you're going to lack the motivation you've just got to be patient with this and i promise you if you're patient you do everything right then you will reap the rewards in time which leads me to the last point on the reality and again beat making and selling beats you've got to treat this as a business you've got to have your marketing on point soundcloud as well audio mac instagram accounts are still good even tiktok if you're using all of these and just uploading the content on there then that is another way that you're advertising your beat which maximizes the chance of getting sales i've had sales based off the fact of uploading something on soundcloud before on beatstars and especially on youtube i've had quite a lot especially since i've started applying discount codes through beatstars there's been a lot more beats uh, sales coming in through the youtube channel so again all of these are worth it but you've got to get your marketing point and in summary you've, you've got to have obviously your beat store but you've got to be advertising it treating it as a business and you've got to be you know driving themselves all the ways and i have done some videos on how you can get more beat sales as well using them sort of strategies which i will leave a link below to and there's also a playlist on my channel if you want to watch more of them videos but i hope you found this helpful and yes like i tried to talk through sort of some of the reality of setting beats but at the same time it's not a dark and dismal thought it's a very fun process and if you enjoy making music then just focus on that especially in the early stages don't pressure yourself to get certain objectives done in a certain time which are unrealistic set yourself little goals if you're a new youtube channel zero subscribers set yourself a target to get 10 subscribers by the end of the month and maybe upload 15 to 20 beats if you can do it but again just do everything at the pace which is comfortable to you and at the same time push yourself but not too much but if you really want this i'm sure you'll get it and you've got the motivation to do it and if you made it this far in the video hit that subscribe button because i upload weekly videos talking about beat selling and how you can get more beat sales and also grow youtube type beat channel as well as market your music thank you for watching this video guys yeah keep making music and i'll see you in the next video